What's up in Aloha Heavy Metal people? It's your boy John here, Heavy Metal Garage and Gym. So we're going through a pull workout. So this is an outdoor pull, a sled push combo workout. One of my favorite all time workouts right here. So we're gonna push the sled out, we're gonna pull it back. We're gonna add weight, it goes in a pyramid. You're gonna see I've got, uh, I've got the 100 foot rope attached to it so I can push it all the way out and then pull it right back. So I use this as an upper body workout. Uh, but it really kind of builds conditioning overall, especially as you push the sled. You get the heart rate up really, really high doing this. Uh, the effort is enormous. I'm going to be wearing gloves so I don't rip the calluses off my hands. Some of you have done the Murph have seen that. I'm going to narrate this workout right here. So without further ado, I'm going to get right back into myself as I narrate this thing. So today, doing some sled pulls. This is one of the combo push then pull back just attach the rope simple as that oldest exercise drag things push things I mean yes this is a fancy rogue sled I don't think you needed that people have figured this out all throughout history simple apparatus simple exercise it's just classic as it can be there's no eccentric portion on the movement as Josh Bryant very much a coach to me uh, author as well uh, Josh Bryant's always told us, hey, there's no eccentric movement, eccentric portion on a sled. So very safe, right? Because you're not doing that overload phase. You're not coiling the muscle up under tension and releasing it. So again, very, very safe. If you're nursing something, uh, nursing an injury, uh, great exercise to do for, uh, for recovery, as well as just to get some active calories. You can make it as heavy as you want. The sled by itself, it, it weighs plenty start piling weights it gets heavy fast you can actually the kids like to ride on it that's a perfect neighborhood trick uh, so yeah kids on the sled always good fun um, can you pull the sled with a bike maybe we'll find out let me know let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try to pull the sled with a bike I have thought about it I have not attempted it so uh, if there's any interest in that I might give it a shot okay a couple more sets to go here So we got a push and pull workout here. So I'm gonna push the sled out and with this cul-de-sac, the way it works out, it's almost exactly 100 feet. So you'll see that 100 foot rope right there, which has a carabiner on one end. I'm able to push it all the way out, pay the whole rope out, the bitter end of that rope I'm gonna be able to pull. So uh, it's got a plastic coat on the end of it so the rope doesn't get frayed. So again, great, great simple outdoor apparatus right here. You'll see that crate on the left of your screen there is the one that I use to store the rope. And you're gonna see as we get to the end of the video how I used to store that rope. It actually all fits inside that crate nice and neat, stacks up inside. So uh, fast forward to the portion where I walk back on this one. Uh, we'll get back to that. So I did I did a, edit this video a little bit out of sequence here. I'm gonna show you is I pyramid the weights up, right? So it gets, I start out with just the sled and then I start adding a plate, add a plate. It doesn't take a lot. Usually two plates on that Rogue 1.2 sled are enough. You cannot pull that thing back. Also the way the crown of that cul-de-sac works, it basically on the far side of that, from the middle of the cul-de-sac and beyond, it's actually pulling it uphill. Now for Mississippi, a uh, hill, you know, we're talking like 2% grade is, is considered a hill in Mississippi. So <laughs> here comes Alistair. This is one of the fun things, right? Is when the kids come out to play, this is just great.
Right. You guys all no. give it a shot. Alright. You guys want to play tug of war with the sled? Yeah, sure. The, oh, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I have a. Um, guys, try to get the sled over here. You take all of you, I bet. Car's coming, so. Whoops! I accidentally knocked down the GoPro. Oh, I accidentally knocked down the GoPro. Oh, Danny, oh. Danny, Danny, stop, stop. No, Danny! What are you doing? Don't go that way. Danny, what are you doing? You're going the wrong way. You're not supposed to go around it. You do briefly block traffic. Okay, let's go! I accidentally knocked down the Okay, so, it's so, alright. Should be okay. Oh yeah, it's tough. It'll be fine. Okay. Yep, oh. no harm. Just reset. Kids are taking the slack out of the rope. It's beautiful. Again. Yeah. Just build it and they will come. All right, go for it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. There you go. Good. Good work, guys. Keep going. Eight. You get that 2% grade working in your favor, so. Five more feet. Definitely get helps. It. The kids using teamwork. Pulling that slot. Get it. Beautiful. And you're good. Good lift. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pay it out some more, okay? If the kids want another go at it, they're probably gonna lose interest fast. There you go. Good. That's a good tactic right there, good exercise. Whip it. All right, don't let it, don't let it whip this over again. I'm gonna push it out, all right? We can pull it back together when I get back. Two plates is actually pretty heavy with the sled. It likes to dig the nose in pretty good. It's got those polycarbonates on the skids, so they're, it's got plastic sliders, if you will, so I can push this on asphalt. It doesn't do any damage to the sled itself. Uh, those plastic sliders are great. Highly recommend them. Even if you use this thing indoors, I still think it's a good idea to put those polycarbonate skids. If you're doing anything with those steel, the actual steel rails, it's going to abrade the steel. So there's Alistair. <laughs> Give it his best shot. He just doesn't weigh enough yet. What are you doing, Danny? Why are you going? So the, the kids have left me with a heavy work now, which is fine. That, that was the point of this after all. You went inside. Just some heavy work. And I will tell you, after doing this work, you will feel sore in your upper back. Yeah. In... <laughs> yeah. Pretty heavy. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll get you in the fingers. That's why I wear gloves. <laughs> it still hurts even with gloves. There goes Danny. You can ride over. So I'm firing up the music here. Again, another reason why I do that, uh, especially wearing headphones in this, is I don't own the rights to commercial music, obviously, so I don't need to get in trouble with 
YouTube or Facebook or anybody for sharing music. Uh, it allows me to keep the music in my head without you know, getting in trouble by sharing it audibly. Uh, I'm always happy to share playlists. Uh, I'm on Spotify, so love to share the music that I listen to. Generally, some mix of heavy metal and EDM is usually what gets me going these days. So you just feel the fire in your upper back on these. Like your hands burn, your upper back burns, your biceps burn all the way down your forearms. It just feels like fire. So anyways, uh, several trips down and back, and then you're going to see me. I'm going to fast forward this here as I start peeling plates off. Uh, and again, the pyramid down, you start taking a plate off and then you push it out. You're going to want to go. Uh, I, I went up to two plates on this because, again, you start pulling more than two plates. I can pull it, but God almighty, it is just too much to push it out and pull it back. So I can do about half the cul-de-sac. That 2% uh, favorable grade on the near side is usually good up to three and four plates, but you're not doing full laps down and back uh, with four plates on that sled. It's just, it gets so, so heavy. So anyways, uh, full pyramids, you know, starting with a sled, one, then two, two for two trips, then one, then zero, uh, taking the plates apart as you put them out. So. Uh, just a, just a classic pyramid workout and again it works your upper back your lower back and I'm alternating seating and standing Okay Pyramid down Pyramid up pyramid down. So it's easy when you're adding plates You work up to your max working weight then you start peeling plates put it back Nice natural flow to things. So I'm pyramiding down My hands are getting wore out even under gloves uh, You'd be amazed you don't even need, you don't, you will get your hands destroyed without gloves quickly. With gloves, you will still get your hands destroyed quickly. So anyways, let's wrap up the work here. I'm going to pull this back one last time just to show you. Uh, again, that's a good tattoo right there. Just throwing a, throwing a nice wave in it just to pull the slack free. The alternated seating and standing, so seated is harder. So anytime you want to do this and you take the leg drive away from it, it makes it that much harder. So as I deload it, I'm doing less weight, but this is much more work doing it from a seated position because you cannot incorporate that leg drive, that full body drive to drive that rope home. So this is a lot more work right here. You feel it in your upper back, you feel it in your traps, you feel it all the way down your forearms. And again, you can't do this without gloves. Kind of the same way as, you know, CrossFit style workouts where you're doing a lot of reps on a pull up. It's just going to rip the calluses right off your hand and you're going to have a bad time. So, highly recommend doing gloves anytime you're on a rope. Happens to be a natural fiber rope, but even the synthetic fiber ropes are going to tear your hands all the way up. So, uh, with that said, we're going to just throw the rope free. Again, it makes plenty of space as you push it all the way back out. But you're going to see on the fast forward here as I start to pile the rope up. Makes a pretty easy cleanup. Uh, again, just a great way to take advantage of some nice weather and get some really solid work in. Just some classic Noah centric work. Uh, just a great push and pull work. So the conditioning counts for the push out and then the pull back counts as an upper back workout. Uh, supplement with deadlifts if you really, really like. So uh, you're going to watch me here coil the rope up. Everything, uh, what is it? Removal's the opposite of installation. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Heavy Metal Garage Jim John signing out.